So I was poking around cheapest chips today and wanted to pick up another USB hub. So I already have one of these working quite reliably. In any case, I uh, decided when I got it home, like most things I get, I'd pull it apart. And uh, when I did, I discovered something interesting. There's room for a Raspberry Pi Zero underneath. And I've got three USB ports and card ports. And even when I remove the little slot, the SD card slot is exposed. This was a solution they obviously had when they manufactured it. So they can poke a full-size USB port or plug through that slot and then put the cable relief in afterwards. No glue, they just slot it together and shove it out the door. And these cards even slot up and move out of the slots. Could be very, very interesting uh, with a bit of soldering and some short cables. I might even be able to fit a power supply and a composite video socket in here somewhere. This could be a one-off little tiny computer. So I've progressed a little bit with the build here. Firstly, I've added a micro USB directly to the USB hub board. And the next step, I'm putting some IO headers in here. I found a power only micro B lead, which will be handy. So the next step here, if I can position this in the camera view, is to solder on the header. And some of you will probably notice I'm uh, positioning this in an odd orientation. That's because I want access to the composite video pins and also the reset pins. So I'll be putting a little tactile switch in here somewhere. Let's see how we go. So that will give me composite video run pins and also access to direct to the 5 volt pins and uh, if I need to I'll add a couple more for the IO pins but I don't know if I'll need them right away I'll add them later if I do so we have it uh, up and running at the moment this is a uh, little test run I'm running Raspbian stretch light on here at the moment and you can see that everything's lit up I'm using a combined keyboard and mouse receiver here. Um, the same as what I used for the Raspberry Pi Zero that I built into that. Um, and as we can see, we do have some boot options coming up. And it's um, checking for network at the moment. And we're logged in automatically. So that's good, that hub is going to work. Let's see if we can get composite video working. Right, so this is not pretty looking. However, we can see that the header off the top here, I've managed to create a Frankensteinish tangle of cables, but we have composite video out, which is nice progress, I'm happy. So we're just test fitting everything inside the hub at the moment. So you've got power lead here, composite video here, mouse receiver just for testing. And if we can sort of see here, we have composite video into the header on the board, which clears the back of that port by only about a millimeter. So it might get some additional insulation in there. Solder these direct to the board um, because I can't get the other connector in underneath there. So I'm just going once again straight in through the 5 volt line as there's no poly fuse to worry about. We'll see how this works shortly. Right, well this will be a smoke test time. And you'll probably see in the background my um, design of SD card holder. You can find these, go these guys on uh, Thingiverse if you're ever looking for them. Now, let's see what we get out of this. The monitor in the background is obviously not connected to it. So we have some blue lights here. Now let's go over to a composite video.